rides, car rides, to spots that no one knows. Good hugs and hot mugs, blankets in the cold. It has come. It is the last week of this precious adventure, which is my time here in Italy. It's been a lot to deal with at the same time, gathering all the loose ends and tying it all together into a beautiful bow. And I thought I would share with you the things that I've done in order to do that. The girl that you're seeing right now is one of my best friends. Her name is Jimena and she's from Mexico. I discovered that giving passages or books to your friends that are important and near to your heart how precious is that? I have absolutely fell in love with this book and it's changed my life in some ways and I felt like if I could share that with somebody like-minded then what a gift! Sharing poetry or literature with good friends is just there's something very precious about that and I felt like it was a fitting goodbye to show some words and some wisdom that spoke to my heart. Whenever you want, don't forget to brush, read it now. This is a letter for you. Thank you. I also wrote some letters and although I at the time of recording this am back home in Norway I am actually still writing letters to my friends both as a new habit but also because I didn't have time to write goodbye letters to all of them and so it's still a work in progress but at least to some of them, I was able to hand them over. I, I won't read it like uh, in my soul and cry. Yeah. <laughs> I cried when I was writing writing letters of yesterday. Of course. Of course. Yes. It's so sentimental. <laughs> not yet here. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> to, to, today we're just on the, on today, the top of the mountain. Today we're on the top. We're gonna stay on the top. In this heat, all technology is overheating, so let's see how long it lasts. I'm finding myself in a cafe. I've been here once before, a few years ago. Two years ago? Or one and a half? No, two years ago. When my sister came visiting, we went to this cafe, and today, in search for one that had shade and that still had some spaces open, I rediscovered this cafe and now I'm here. I leave in three days. I'm in the midst of packing. I passed my last exam yesterday, so I'm done with everything university related. I just have to go there and pick up some more painting supplies that I left and paintings and artworks that I left there. Other than that, I'm in the midst of packing. My room is a total mess. It looks as if there's been a tornado in there. Everything's just scattered. And, and uh, <laughs> I packed two bags, two plastic boxes. I now have to pack my carry-on and somehow figure out how to get everything into it, uh, which is a mystery I'm postponing very cleverly. I've been quite contemplative about my life here in Rome as a student, as a young woman, as somebody living out a dream in a city and it coming to an end. I've been reflecting a lot on what I have done these past three years and all the crazy moments that I've experienced that I never thought that I would, that have come totally unforeseen. And how I've grown from different circumstances and what I've learned about people and cultures and this world and myself and the wonderful friends that I found that were both in my life, that were both in my life for only a few months and or maybe now for these three years that I've been here. Um, yeah, some time for reflections. I've written a lot in my diaries these three years, so I'm very excited to look back at them in the future. That's something I'm very happy that I've been consistent with. Other than concerning myself with finishing university and, and packing and such, saying goodbye to my friends, probably the third thing that is the biggest on my mind uh, lately. Right now, I'm at this cafe, partially to take in Rome and take in this every day and people and listening in on these Italian conversations that I've slowly started to understand more of um, and also to write letters to my friends. I 
decided to do that. I've always done that whenever I've had to say goodbye to anybody really important to me and that have changed my life in some ways. I often do that. I often write my last final words into letters so that they can keep them and reread them and maybe be touched also after our goodbye. And so I've written one and a half now um, for two of my closest friends in my class. And um, the latter one I had to stop because I want empty of ink. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to resume to that later when I find another pen. I should have plenty at home now that I've gone through all of my things. Um, I found so many pens, as one does sometimes when you go through all your things. And something else that I've found so much joy in now for my last week is my little film camera. My sister gave this to me a year ago and honestly I don't even know if, it's, if it works yet. I haven't developed any of the film rolls that I've had in here and so I'm still taking pictures with it hoping that it works or that there's no light pollution or such. I bought a new roll so that I could record the very simple everyday and fleeing moments of my last week here. I brought it with me to south of Italy when I was there last weekend with one of my best 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 friends. Now I still have another 20 images that I will take during the next five days or four days or three days whilst I'm here. because we're about to go to the finissage of our exhibition and we're all dressing up as this character but with our own flair and so here we are painting moustaches <laughs> on ourselves. 